Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat, and welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan, and it is good to be back with you. Oh, I had a, had a great vacation last week with my family. Uh, it was just really good to be with them, but also just a lot of fun as well to be at Disney World. Um, but yeah, but happy to be back with y'all, and I uh, want to thank a couple followers who followed while I was away. First, Sandman1161, thank you for the follow, welcome to the channel. Brother Juniper, thank you, welcome. And Dope the Pope too, which I have many thoughts on because first of all, apparently Dope the Pope 1 was already taken. And two, I hope that's Dope the Pope is in the adjective, the Pope is dope, rather than the verb form of doping the Pope because that has some problems and some weird connotations. But uh, anyway, welcome to the channel. Glad y'all are here. So thank you, Brother Juniper, Dope the Pope 2, and Sandman1161. It's, but it's good to see y'all. How you doing, Gail? been a while i'm trying to remember where all my buttons are kind of dive back into some more uh chain of memories in atlantica and the wonderfully weird welcome to the little mermaid level that doesn't have swimming Where am I going? I guess I'm going deeper into Atlantica here. There we go. I had to move my microphone a little bit. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone having... Oh my goodness! Get on the bubble, Sora! Everyone having a good day? Deeper into your own memories, I think. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm going. Am I not sick of Disney tunes yet? Never. I don't have a single three. That's a problem. Um, well, okay, I have a three, but I'm not putting all my details. You know what? Actually, sure, why not? Like, oh, just four jellyfish, that's not bad. And then all of a sudden, the giant fish came out of nowhere. I'm out of zeros. This is a problem. Be gone, Dark Ball. The enemy, Sora. That might be a good idea, no? Or is that overrated? Never like those Dark Ball guys anyway. Fair enough. Good to see a Mesozoic mind. Help me! Well, that... sure happened. Note to self, just use Ariel in tandem with the, her own cards.
Now here's the question, is it... Which one is it that we're supposed to go to? I'll come back for you in a moment. First card. Party members make great slate card slate starts because they don't get removed from your deck. Yeah, that's true. But if you also have just a bunch of mega potions, it doesn't matter. How did you miss that, Sora? You'd only use items for late game bosses? I am finding having potions in my deck incredibly useful this playthrough. for a blitz. Ah! Panic! Panic! Okay, everything's fine. I look at chat and I instantly throw away three cards. Items have limited availability. I think the item card... No, the item cards are infinite use, I think. Different game. Yes. Too good to use syndrome. Um, yeah, four card points. Yes, I have. Maximum number of my map cards, I know. Recovery star, that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's put it in the middle. Put it in the middle of that. But yeah, if I come to item, like... See, this has a limit of three reloads, but... Regular items, nope. I'm just another norm, perfectly normal card. No, Sora. I appreciate your enthusiasm to decimate the local landscape, but come on. You can hear my yeah. exasperation. I'm gonna go deeper in first before I go off to the side. Which inevitably will mean that this is the incorrect direction, but... You know, we haven't done a white shroom room yet. I probably don't have the magic equipped to handle this, but...
Yep, see, he gets mad. So I'm going to need to use magic on these. But I only have Blizzard and Fire. Oh my gosh, I was right. Running away from me. We're here to have a party. I'll sneak up on them. I can't cast Cure on them. Fire. Freeze. Just gonna yeah. smack y'all and get this over with. I'm not gonna get a... Uh, I don't have enough magic and I don't have ethers equipped, so... I don't know what I expected to have happen here. However, this is nice. What do I want to make premium? Maybe one of the cures? The cure is now a premium band. Yeah, I'll throw a false bounty in there. I can't see how this will possibly end poorly. My, so many guests. Have you made up your mind, my dear? I'll do anything for Flounder, but I need proof I can trust you. You said we could save Flounder if I gave you the trident. Well, prove it. But of course, see? Ariel! I knew something was fishy. There you have it. If you want your precious Flounder back, give me the trident. Ah, <laughs> mine at last. Now I am the ruler of all the seas. Let Flounder go. Oh, but of course, I'm feeling generous. You admire the instinct as a royal. Sometimes you have to wear the costume things like this. Well, apparently not Ariel. Oh, which reminds me. You always wanted to see other worlds, didn't you? Well, dear, I know just the world to send you to. Unfortunately, this will be a one-way trip. That is a dark threat. The sea and all its denizens shall grovel before me. Get ready for this. <laughs> if I don't want to get ready for this. Bring your tentacle back here right now. Yeah. 
Sorry, chat. Can't read. Busy fighting giant tentacles. Ursula, you want to attack? There we go. You see, this is what happens when you don't raise children to take over the family business. I accept no excuses for Ariel's inability to prepare for statecraft. And the rest of this was? Rude! You should have contingencies. Um, my chat, you've got dark. I think I'm going to make it this time around. Why is Divine kicking my trash so much? Because she has a stacked deck. And I was paying attention to chat and threw away cards. Never listen to chat. Well, I'm not trying to listen to chat. I'm just trying to put, give you some attention. I guess I'll stop doing that. The proper microwave setting for reheating a kolache is casserole. I learned something today. I don't know what I learned, but I just learned it. Wait, what does Pluto do? Are you going to find me some cards, boy? No, you're going to find me some health and money. Well, that's okay. Ish. Ow. 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 Pluto is Bambi. That's a sentence and I understand it. I don't know how I feel about that. Ow. 
I have so few cards left, but I'm so close. Ow, 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 get out of there, Sora. I don't care, it'll heal me. I have so few cards left, he says, as he loads another slate. Bring your tentacle back where I can hit it. I swear I dodged under that. I don't think it's going to be the one, chat. It's not the one. So close. Nope, time to try again, right? Skip event. The breath laser move is Imo the difficult one to deal with without just breaking. Yeah, I think you can roll under it, but it just keeps firing at just an awkward enough angle that it's hard to kind of tell what it is. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Just throwing my cards away. Use the zero yet because she's within smacking range. Come on, let me smack you. It's a shame these are epic exclusive. Yeah, she has no zeros, just lots of seven and eights. Well, that's good to know. I have a zero, however. And proof that these would be fun on the uh, Steam Deck, the PSP. How did she break that? I'm gonna call a judge on that move. Not gonna use that zero yet. Oh, what? Ah! She just sometimes randomly pulls out an eight. Her move vents around the arena locationally break both her moves and yours. Ooh. Well, that's obnoxious. 
I hate when a blitz just stops working. That's game programming. Yeah, I guess. That went much better that time. I turned her into a piece of cardboard. Look at my smile. Oh, please don't be mad, Ariel. That old witch tricked me. Flounder, as long as you're safe, nothing else matters. Now all that we have to do is return the trident and everything will be okay. But what if the king finds out you're the one who took it in the first place? I'll be grounded forever. But consequences don't matter. Ariel, Ariel, where are you, girl? If you can hear me, please answer. It's Sebastian. I thought it was the king. He came all this way just to find me. Yup. And when he does, you're gonna get it. Hey, I know. Why don't you just say the sea witch stole the trident? And you got it back by all by yourself. Then there's no way you'll get in trouble. <laughs> Cover up one sin with another sin. That works out well every time. But I can't do that. I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie. Not about this. Kant would approve. I know I haven't made best decisions lately. It was a mistake to take the trident, but I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I'm proud of that. Blaming someone else would mean giving up those... giving those feelings up. What? it? So I'm going to tell the truth. Well, I don't entirely follow your logic, but I appreciate your honesty. She's right, Sora. Honesty is the best policy. Hey, I was just kidding. Great, now I'm the one in hot water. <laughs> hot water. Ooh, thunder. Let's see what the next floor of this has in store. No, you are Riku. Riku, what are you doing here? Not happy to see me. Let me know if I'm getting in the way. You know, of something that's more important. Uh huh. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Spare the excuses. I Riku, think. you sure got petulant all of a sudden. you forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on, I came all this way looking for you. But you're not anymore, right? Well, no, I'm not now looking for you because I found you. Nominee that you're looking for. You don't care about me, just like you never cared at all about her. Feelings. Oh yeah, no, the voice. Nominees. The voice recordings in this version are really bad for some reason. I knew it. Never even gave it a thought, did you? Just cause you want to see Namine. Sorry. Doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth, Namine doesn't even want to look at your face. Why not? You should ask your memories. Why Namine disappeared from the islands. Remember that. Look, I play a and lot of Kingdom know. Hearts games. Did I... And I know the story doesn't make sense, but... Did I do this something? whole scene makes even less sense than usual. Is it my fault? Riku. 
You fell to the darkness home, again. I'll care for Namine. Anyone who goes near her goes through me. What's what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. I've also Please, already Sora. defeated you in this form once Since before. Have you ever cared about me? Quite a bit, actually. The only one who's sick of looking at you. So am I. <laughs> Riku, stop it! Well. Riku sure has a lot of zeros. But he's pretty squishy. See, and that's also why I like potions is against the human bosses. They're pretty good to reload your, uh... Or they're pretty good to do while they're reloading. Shoot, I am out of heals. Does this game have a hidden bonus boss fight with Sephiroth, or does that not extend to the non-main line games? I don't think there's a secret boss in this game. There's a secret cutscene. Boom! First try. There might be a secret boss, and I just don't remember. It's, it has been literally a decade since I played this game in full. Arrow. Does that do damage, or does that protect in this game? I don't remember. Quit being wait. a butt! Spoiler alert, Rika went on to continue being a butt. Uh, blows away nearby enemies and inflicts damage. Ooh. That's nice. But if he wasn't a butt, would he be Riku? I mean, yes... I guess, because in later games he's less of a butt and he's still Riku. Um, I'd kind of just like a few more regular attack cards in here. Hey, Squirrel Itch, thank you for the reset for four months. Worm there? Uh, the building sure is. I think it's like... I don't know, maybe in the 60s outside? It's pretty It's pretty warm for, you know, January. Um, but also just inside the building, it's pretty nice. But that's what you get with an old building. Rotada. Well, it's a good thing there's a cutscene because I haven't actually looked at the readings yet. You? 
Sora, are you okay? Don't worry about me. Riku, what happened? Hmm, sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Riku again. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Did we? Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku. Hold on, the kid. If he's with Riku... He was an illusion, Sora. Or possibly Xehanort. Or possibly a Xehanort illusion. Sora? Beach 2 at step 0. Spoiler alert, he's a robot. I know. You're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. But you gotta remember, we are in Castle Oblivion. With a fake real heart. Why folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. We won't get to that for another couple of games, though. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends. That's all. So he just forgot? My guess is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why we're sure to get you through this. No need to mow. Jiminy's right. You shouldn't push your friends away. I wasn't pushing him away. I was attacking him with a keyblade because yeah. he attacked me first. Okay. Look, the castle does weird things, in all Sarah, fairness. do you remember our very first promise? Huh? Always smile. smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. We promised to never forget to keep smiling. It's because the gummy ship runs on smiles, You're but right. we're not on the gummy ship. We didn't even take the gummy ship to get here. Anyway, in answer to the Rortida... Uh, the first reading is probably what I would have preached on, honestly. Uh, I didn't have a mass today. Um, but it's kind of interesting, because it's... We're going through the story of David right now in the Old Testament in the first reading. It is not always the most uplifting story. In fact, it kind of reaches some Game of Thrones levels of violence and machinations and we see that at play here i think it should be i think if someone was looking for a good uh television series it would make a good one um but i think it's a reminder of in the midst of all the human messiness political personal familial all of that that is so at play in so much of our world god is not distant from that god is with us in the midst of all of that. Where are we now? The floor is kind of unsteady. I can hear the ocean too. I know, we must be inside a ship. He's a sailor after all. Well, we'd better find a way out. But which way to go? <gasps> Who are you? Notice how we have forgotten everyone. Maybe she's trying to help us. Looks like you're right. He served in the Navy. Sora learns Clyde. And as we all know, every sailor is magical. I will not be taking further questions. Well, I think also it helps that we're pretty far in, so Sora is forgetting everything at this point. Okay, I hit triangle there to do the third piece. Sora! React! Do the slate, please! Yeah. 
Sora. My inputs just were not working. Gets everything but how to wield his keyblade. For when others were making memories, he learned he was studying the blade. <laughs> well, look, the keyblade chooses its wielders based on their heart, it's, so it's always there. Good attempt, good effort, good effort, good hustle. Roasted. What is my favorite book in the Bible? Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough choice. Um. I mean, I do love Paul's letters, like, so those are up there. But honestly, there's a lot of great stories in the Old Testament. Um, the Book of Ruth is a lot of fun. Um, Maccabees is really interesting. Uh, Tobit is a lot of fun. I love Job. Um, gosh, what is my favorite book in the Bible? That, yeah, that's a tough question. I don't know if I have a, a simple answer. Oh my goodness, that move just stun locks. I did not give you permission to stun lock me. Please and or thank you. No, I said no. No. I just got an achievement for that. Get, get out of there. might not be fair to ask a question. Don't want to pick between your favorite children. Exactly. Hey, Catholic Brit. Good to see ya. Yeah. Oh, work is going well. I keep getting my butt handed to me by the pirates because of their stupid stun-locking move. And I keep forgetting to use zeros. Yes, I know I can do that. Don't at me. <laughs> No, that's not... I need to rearrange that spot, because that's... It wants to be a blitz, but it's yeah. one off. It's over. Busy day at work, but most days are busy when you work at a dicey. That is fair. Hashtag chancery life, not for me. Yeah, even when I did have a slate ready, like, it stun locks so hard.
Yeah, Squirrel Itch. I think I'm going to go with Job is my favorite book. In answer to your question. common one too. That's fair. I have no qualms with picking a common one. Yeah, church work really can be just like feast or famine sometimes. And we are definitely headed into a feast time of work, but with Lent. But I think one reason that the combat in this actually is a little bit harder than a normal Kingdom Hearts is that your enemies don't drop health. What do you mean the barrel had legs? I did not ask for this. Take this cursed monstrosity away from me. Two hour long meeting with your boss and coworker. What's your lent on what you're doing in the er, communications oh. office? Yep, that that sounds about right. We had a uh, two hour meeting about everything we're doing here at the parish for lent. I was conveniently on vacation. I thought I brought those back down, but apparently not. No! Don't be stunned! Well-timed vacation. Yeah, well... It wasn't intentional. It was the meeting kind of cropped up from a normal staff meeting. We were like, yeah, we should probably have a big meeting next week to do this. And I just happened to, I mean, I had that vacation on the book for literal months, so it's not like it wasn't an unknown quantity. But I will also enjoy the fact that uh, it that happened. Yeah. 
You thought you could sneak up on me, sly dog. Besides leveling and getting more cards, is there an incentive to kill all the monsters in a room? Um, no. No, I don't think there is. But um, that's the way my brain works in this kind of RPG. It's like, okay, here's the area. I must defeat the everything before I can move on. Let's find out what a black room does. Completionist mindset. Basically, but also just like a sense of I cannot move on in a room until I have defeated everything, which doesn't always actually benefit you. It can actually make it harder. They make squeaky noises. Yeah. They do in all the other games. Ooh, fairy harp. Anytime you want to turn back into a normal mushroom, that would be great. There we go. There's a black mushroom squeezy toy like IRL. Okay, let's see what Fairy Harp stats are. C plus in physical, so it's better than Wishing Star. And it's got better recovery, but I... Oh, it's a one. Uh, that's not great. One of these is a treasure room, and I'm guessing it's this blue one. But we'll find out. So the thing I love about you is your tenaciousness to attack inanimate objects. Oddly can't find a black fungus key toy. That surprises me. Or interceptor, whatever that means. I'm not, honestly not really one for achievements and gamer points and whatnot. Like, I, I enjoy when an achievement, like, helps you figure, like, is a hint essentially to do something fun, but. I've no. How am I doing today? I am doing well. 
little tired, but uh, that's to be expected after uh, the vacation I had, which was a wonderful vacation, but tiring. But otherwise, pretty good. Just getting caught up back on life and things. Um, let's... Throw in a calm bounty, why not? I have a funeral to attend tomorrow, so that'll be. I don't know quite how to put it. I, it will be sad, but beautiful and moving. It was the mother of my pastor. Just recently passed. So it'll be good. So, like, a bunch of us from the house are going up as in fraternity, and that'll be nice. Cell alerts. Teleport. Stop, arrow. And an item card or magic, magic Peter Pan while we're in this world. I think I'm going to use the treasure card in this world. He might owe my wish on Daru them. Is it just me or are all the rooms starting to look the same? It's a boat. Maybe we're just going in circles. Some help she is. Wow. I think you might have ruffled her feathers, Donald. She doesn't have feathers. Tink, what are you doing? You aren't supposed to bring the pirates with you. Stay back, pirates, or this will be the last fight you pick. What's the big idea? We're not pirates. We're only here because... Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here, Sora? Huh? How am I supposed to know, Donald? Goofy, what do you think? Of course, beats me. Okay, I, okay, I understand. Sora, Donald, and Goofy, right? I guess if you were real pirates, you wouldn't get lost on your own ship. Plus, you're dressed funny. There you go again. Wait, so if you thought we were pirates, this must be a pirate ship. Brilliant deduction. <laughs> That's right, you're trapped inside the Jolly Roger. Ship of old codfish, Captain Hook. Well, if we're trapped, that means you are too. Me? Don't be silly. No one can capture Peter Pan. I'm just laying low until it's time to spring my plan. What plan is that? The pirates kidnapped my friend Wendy. She's got to be somewhere on this ship. I didn't expect there to be so many pirates on watch, though. I sent Tink to look for a way around. But all she found was you. I bet I know what Tink had in mind. If we all make a big enough racket, we can distract the pirates. Sora, you are a master tactician. Gorsh, you must have read her mind. So how about it? Let's work together at least until we get above deck. Well, why not? Of course, I could save Wendy myself if I wanted to. But you guys look like you'd be stuck without me. Don't you have any manners? No, he doesn't, canonically. Hmm, left or right? <laughs> Two up. Okay. Short, sure. sleeping darkness.
Blitz is just such a useful slate to always be using. ABB always be blitzing. Hey, Squirrel Lich, good to see you. You take care. Uh, can I ask you a random question but relating to the Gospels? I potentially have to write as a reflection on the Gospel later this week if someone doesn't submit theirs to us. I'm not sure what to focus on. Sure thing. Go yeah. for it. Oh, I'm actually running a little low on health. Let's fix that. There wasn't it magic. Yeah, it's teleport. Let's find out what that does. Oh, okay. Interesting. Teleport, in fact, teleports you to someone and then casts stop. Oh no. No! He goes fed kidneys. So, but yeah, feel free to ask a ask a question, Britt. Have to. Oh, there you go. Uh, Mark six seven thirteen sent out two by two. Take nothing with them. Shake the dust from the feet, and if they don't welcome the anoint the sick with oil, etc. For that gospel, what do you usually focus on in your homily if you give one on the gospel? Ooh, well that one that one has lots of different options. I think. Um, yes. And I guess it depends on what your audience is. If this is going to be like more internal for people who work at the diocese versus just to be disseminated by the diocese. Because uh, if it's for the diocese, you could talk, you could do a reflection on, you know, the sense of graciously accepting hospitality that is extended to you. People who signed up to receive the daily reflections. Okay. Uh, you could talk about the diversity of mission of the things that Christ sent them out to do. The fact that they are not sent out alone, and the fact that we don't do mission alone, and aren't expected to do it alone. That you know we have others with and alongside us. Uh, you could even do something about, you know, shake the dust from your feet. The sense of, like, don't, if other, if you feel that others have, you know, treated you in a way you don't like, or... Wow, what a weird-looking attack. You know, that sense of shake the dust from your feet, move on, don't, don't harbor ill will, and don't let it linger in your heart. So I, ho I hope that's some uh, potential directions for you. Yeah. It's over. 
I'm not sure you've ever heard the shake the dust from your feet explained like that before. Oh, you're welcome. I think one of the beautiful things about scripture, as a minister of scripture, uh, I'm going to get a little more health since I keep getting dumpstered, um, is yes, there is like a particular meaning, but it is a living, breathing encounter you know, with, like, the, the idea of scripture itself is very incarnational. And so we can have new personal interpretations. Not necessarily that it's like, ah, well, I've rewritten history based on uh, this passage, but we can look at the passage and just go, huh, I understand this in a different light now that X, Y, and Z have happened in my life. And I greatly appreciate that, not just, you know, for the, the ministry I do, but also just in that personal sense. Oh, you got to go to Israel? Wow. I have not been there yet, but I've heard that after you go, it really does change how you encounter particularly, like, the Gospels. And this was just a dead end. Uh, one thing I do... Some awesome connections at Capernaum. That's awesome. That's amazing to hear. Uh, one thing I do is, when I'm working on my homilies, I actually have... A, uh, an Orthodox study Bible. Did I do a Calm Bounty? I did. Maybe I'll do a Moogle Room. I think I have some Moogle points to redeem. Because um, I always like hearing what sort of the Byzantine tradition has to say on particular passages. and I've gotten some really good insights out of those. That helped a lot for her homilies. Ooh, Pumpkinhead 5. These are some good cards. Uh, maybe I should trade in some old cards. So I got, like... I'm not going to use... Oh, man, I have to trade these in one at a time. What was the sec uh three wishes refer to never a bible commentary all right i have not heard of that one but there are a lot out there um why does this one have a black strap and is worth more i don't know let's find out because it has good cards that's why I might... I think I'm going to need to rework a deck, but I think I'm going to do that off-screen one day. Just because I don't want to sit here and be like manually reworking a deck slowly, bit by bit. But that was a pretty good haul of cards. Because now we have a lot of these two. Well, 
Oh, those are the premium ones, too. The more expensive ones tend to be better overall, but how much? Statistically notable, but not impressively. Well, I bought them already, so... I want to see if there's a big points price difference. 44, 48. I think I should be able to... No, I'm just shy. But that's okay, because I can ditch that and put the two in. Perfectly at 750. But I'll probably remake it a, a deck. Off screen. Um in between screens at some point. There she is. Peter? Pita Pan. Wendy, are you all right? I've come to rescue with these my new three new lost boys. Well, that escalated quickly. Come on, let's get off this leaky old tub and do some exploring. Haha, <laughs> we'll never grow up. Why did you have to include that last sentence? Peter, I've got something to tell you. I want to go home to London. What are you talking about? Why would you want to do that? You'd have to turn into a grown-up besides going on adventures is a lot more fun. If you go back to London, you'll have to leave the nursery. You'll grow up and we'll never see each other again. I know, Peter, but I still want to go home. I came to rescue you. And you don't care if you ever see me again. Whoa, getting a little uh, emotionally uh, manipulative there. No, you don't understand. Suit yourself, and while you're at it, rescue yourself. I'm leaving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pan, 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 pan. Hey, wait a minute. There he goes. Peter. Not very thoughtful, is he? What do we do now? Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we think of something once we get up on deck? That doesn't make any sense. I think. Well, this is true. He's not... He is an eternal child, and that... Makes it hard for him to be the hero. Well, there's still trouble waiting outside. Wendy, you stay here. We'll try to create a distraction. All right, be careful. Maybe if you stay here, Peter will change his mind and come back. You just saw this scene while rewatching Perfume on Sunday? I don't know what Perfume is, but I'll believe you. It's also not protected. It's also protected by not aging by being not in the public domain. This is true. You taught me about that. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? The wrong way. That's where I'm going. plus um sure Yeah, it's over. 
it's over. You can jump higher, Sora. Ah! I was reading chat. In my client's defense, Your Honor, he was reading chat. Honor my client leads. Whoopsie Daisy. Courage. Unfortunately, there is no legal precedent for Whoopsie Daisy. How big is this group of enemies? My goodness. I don't know how I got in this fight, but I got in this fight. Yes. Your Honor, my client pleads. My bad. I do believe that is an admission of guilt. I didn't say his plea was a good one. <laughs> Fair enough. Why do these trumpet enemies have so much health? Wait, what do you mean there's still more? I thought that was the end of the fight. Healer should always be caked up. That's a sentence yeah. I have to live with having read. Huh. 
You do, in fact, do what you can. I think this one's fake. No, it's real. Okay. The lighting on it looked weird, and I thought it might have been a fake. I bet we got a slate this time around. Because we haven't had a slate when we leveled up lately. Called it. Tornado. Arrow, gravity, summon! That sounds complicated and like I only have two thirds of it. Teleporting in and out. Oh, it's this guy. It's over. ABB always be blitzing. Except when you do that and you don't blitz. that treasure room. Looks like they're moving through molasses.
That worked out. And then he flits into another blitz. It's over. Fire. Seven. I wish there was like a quick reference in the deck building that would tell you what slates you have. Because right now I'm thinking about how I want to redesign my deck and it's like I have to just write down on every slate I have it's over. and how I want to construct it. <laughs> Not actually what I wanted. I actually want to heal. But oh well. Excuse me. Stop that. We combo like men. I mean... I play Storm in Magic. I know how to combo. I actually just started working on a new magic deck. I think it's pretty funny. It's a commander deck. Red, blue, black. Storm. But only old board cards allowed. Get out of me, swamp. By swamp, I mean boat. By boat, I mean battlefield. That's inside my mind. This game is confusing.
15. You really want to make us work for this. This treasure had better be worth it. Spoiler alert, the treasure was not worth it. Let's find out. Thunder Raid! Okay. So I think I have Blizzard Raid and Thunder Raid now. That's pretty sweet. gonna try this door first, because why not? No, I lost those Moogle points. I could have paid for part of a booster pack. Okay, glad I didn't lose that arrow at least. Disagree game, I hit, hit triangle there. Alright, what do I want to premium here? Uh, maybe like one of the sevens for uh, three wishes. I find the timing on that very easy. Again with the inanimate objects. I got a shadow. It was too early. Just after I talked about how I found this, the timing on that very easy. Yeah. Something something hubris petard.
I did intentionally premium the cure, because cures are expensive, so. Yeah. Oh, hello, Shadow. How am you? Back off. Great strike rate, Sora. 10 out of 10. I did not want to shoot that at the... Freeze. Shadow, but... It's up here now. This is a dead end. I've been clearing out this room for nothing. Except for levels. Another gold door. That will come in handy yeah. for the next level, I guess. No. Bad shadow. I really should be leading off with, um... Uh, strike right there, I think. If I don't... Stun the enemies. It's over. You are not allowed to summon more friends. You let in one heartless, and they think they can all come over. Mind one of those. Could not find a mind a high, high power fairy harp either. And again, I'll go in and I'll do a whole bunch of deck editing. next week, but we're getting pretty close to the end because we have Hollow Bastion. Um, uh, Winnie the Pooh, 100 Acre Woods. Oh, this actually messes me up. 
I, th I thought I had a different card. This is the one that boosts the number of everything, but this actually takes me out of blitz range with a lot of these and disrupts my zeros. Oh well. It's the last room of this world. Okay, this is not going great all of a sudden. Okay, now everything's gone fine. Turns out Goofy solves a lot of problems. This also applies to real life. not in stun impact range. You were right there. Yeah. Now the now the heartless are guaranteed cheating. You just saw an outfit in a photo for work that didn't know was still being made slash existed. Uh I'm afraid to know what outfit that was. Brit what, pray tell, was this cursed outfit? Jinko? Ooh. That would be... That would be painful to know. So, good to see you, Bad Roxy, by the way. We finally made it out. There you are, you rascals! Yes, it's us. Hello. I'll teach you to play stowaway on my ship. Friends of Peter Pan, I wager. Hot pink velvet suit. Ooh! Yeah, wow. Are we his friends? He sure didn't seem to think so. Yeah, the way he took off like that, he even ditched Wendy. I'm not finished talking yet! How dare you ignore me and plot behind my back, uncivilized brats! You're in cahoots with Peter Pan, no mistake. If you say so. Either way, you're, you're gonna let us off this ship. And Wendy's coming with us. Think again, you scallywags! Hook's the one step ahead of you! A juicy couture suit. I hate it. <gasps> Wendy! Any trouble, and Wendy it takes a long walk off the plank. You wouldn't. Believe me, I'd rather not. After all, I need Wendy to bait that blasted Peter Pan. Then I'll just have to take the bait, you old codfish. Peter. Here I am, Hook. Miss me? Insolent brat. Today is the day you pay for taking my hand. Uh oh. Ooh. 
You've made a fool for the last of me for the last time, Pan. I'll cleave you from, cleave you to the brisket. Please do not cleave anyone to the brisket. Fuck, that's just mighty unhelpful. Oh, Hook has an actual deck. That's interesting, because Ur uh, Ursula didn't. Oh, but look, his numbers are random. randomly break your attack if you're not careful. Fortunately, this old codfish is pretty easy. I said this old codfish is pretty easy. Just until he reloads? Just until he reloads what? What deck? What hook? We turned two Disney villains into cardboard today. Yay! Perfectly normal sentence. Thanks, Peter. We owe you one. Well, at first I thought I'd let you handle it, but it really looked like you needed help. But hey, you three did pretty good, though. Wendy, about London. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Peter, I'm sorry, but I really want to go home. I was afraid of that. Everyone grows up, and grown-ups always forget. First you'll forget what it feels like to be young, and then you'll forget about me. How can you say such a thing, Peter? I'll never ever forget you. Sure, that's what you think now, but when you try to remember me, the memories will be gone. You'll forget little by little, one memory at a time. Once you're grown up, there won't be a single memory left. Don't say that. Memories, even important ones, don't come back to us whenever we want them to. But that doesn't mean the memories are gone. It's more like... like they're sleeping. Sort of laying down some epistemology. Oh, you're going? That's so awesome, Bad Roxy. Yeah, uh, I got back literally Saturday night after midnight. <laughs> it was way late. Um, uh, let, I can give you some tips if you want, by the way. So when the right thing comes along and wakes the memory up, we can remember it. I wonder what Plato would have said to this in... His, I forget the, the dialogue. Is it the youth fro? There's one about epistemology and memory, particularly. And I wonder how uh, Plato would have reacted to this. The memories engraved in our hearts never go away. I'm sure of it. That's why I remember Nomine, the girl who never existed. He's right, Peter. Never, huh? It's funny. I never thought anyone who left Neverland forgot all about it. But I have a feeling you guys just might be different. Okay, Sora, if you say we'll meet again, then I believe you. Oh, Peter. Let's go, Wendy. London is waiting. Goodbye, Sora. I'll be waiting to see what you look like all grown up. Well, I think that game is supposed to come out next year, so... He'll come back with better graphics. What's the matter, Tink? Ah. 
This must be a gift from Peter. Why can't it be a gift from Tink? Maybe he's not such a thoughtless guy after all. Ow. Another gift from Peter? What's the big idea? Where did that Moogle come from? What's... None of that makes sense. Hey, good to see you, Catholic Brit. You take care. Yeah. Moogles are omnipresent. They are just slightly out of frame most time. That's terrifying. Okay, do we have a boss fight here? Oh. Riku. Take the hint. I told you to go home. Not until I rescue you and Namine. I don't remember ever asking you to rescue me. Did you forget? Kyrie's there, waiting for us both to come home. You're the one who forgot. I told you at Kingdom Hearts when we closed the door. Take care of Kyrie. <gasps> Give it up. Are you being serious, I'm Step Zero, or are you being facetious with who's Kyrie? Because I think for both anything. are realistic questions. It's not just for Kyrie. What about the rest? You can have those losers. Already forgot them. That's enough. What about you, Sora? Do you actually remember what they all look like? Hey, not of everyone's memories work that way. Don't feel bad. Kyramin. That's what this castle does to you. After a Kyramine. while. That sounds like a bad medicine. Kyramine. Ask Good. your doctor if Kyramine is right you for you. You forget all the useless stuff and remember for the first time what really matters. I remembered it, Sora. I now know the one thing that is most important to me. Protecting Naminé. Nothing else matters. Not a thing. A poo-poo flavored soda with a glass bead. Fair enough. Hey. Riku. I think I'll jog your memory. Hmm. Go ahead and try. Didn't we already fight you on the previous floor? Okay, I guess we're doing this again. Did his hair get spiky after he became a protagonist or before? Uh, it was always spiky. It's it's in the genetics of a protagonist. Yes. Shoot, shoot, I'm screwing up. Yeah, it's over. Thank you for the heal. Ow. Stand still. Uh, 
I'm going to give this one more try. If I don't make this, fortunately, the save point is right there. And we can do it again next time. Riku, you have too many zeros. I need you to stop having zeros. I rolled right into that one. Ow, 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 ow. Dingo's pet kidneys. Yeah, I think I need to rework my deck a little bit because its slates just aren't they got kind of out of whack, and they're not there. But that is a problem for next stream. So thank you so much for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Again, I have a funeral to go to uptown, so won't be able to stream because I'll be get, come back from that late. Um, but, uh, I will be back on Thursday with more Spirit Fair, and then next week, uh, more, um, Kingdom Hearts for Re RPG Monday. We'll be switching to, uh, Nerf Arena Blast for Retro Tuesday, so that'll be a lot of fun, and we're going to keep doing Spirit Fair until we're complete with that. Uh, so thank you so much to everyone for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good jazz, and take care, and God bless.